Hey there, welcome. My name is Alonda Carter and I am the Recovering Hunbot. I create anti-MLM videos, that's anti-multi-level marketing, and I also examine white collar crime and some true crime. Basically, I like to tell the stories about scammy things and the people who are involved. A big shout out to my friend David Brer, who runs the blog, MLM, The American Dream Made Nightmare. He sent me a link to something that I just have to share with you and provide my commentary so I can let you know what I think about it. I know creators in the anti-MLM world all talk about how predatory MLMs are and how these Huns do all kinds of things that are just awful. And I'm not saying they're not awful. Well, all of that has been going on for years. And this video is going to share something with you that was created in 2006 so that you can judge for yourself. It is super cringy for many reasons, which I will let you discover on your own. Um, yeah, you're welcome. Please do not send any hate to anyone involved in multi-level marketing in general or the specific companies that are mentioned in this video in particular. Please keep it civil in the comment section and be nice to each other and to me. This video is based on my experience, research, and opinion. Please, as always, do your own research. Today, we are checking out an MLM training board game. You heard that right. An MLM training board game. It's called, you ready? Residual Income. The video description of this says, Residual Income Technologies builds training simulations to train independent distributors how to successfully build the business. In this board game, you will learn how to build yourself, build a team, and become a leader and duplicate yourself. Now, as a professional instructional designer, that means somebody who designs and develops training, I have been involved with gamification in the world of training. And I've designed all kinds of things using gamification. People learn through games. Games are also fun, hence the learning kind of a thing. However, when it comes to MLM, I don't care how many times you play this game or what these stinking cards say, most people will end up spending more than they will ever make. This game is still sold. I know, scary. Let me read the description for you that's on the website right now. Use the industry's only true business building simulator, the residual income game. Simulated training is what pilots, firemen, astronauts, police, and the military use in real life situations. Contrary to popular training methods of telling you what to do and expecting you to be able to go out and do it, the residual income training simulator immerses prospects and associates in a realistic business environment where they have to make decisions and grow their teams to advance promotion levels and achieve financial freedom. Since your mind doesn't know the difference between a simulation and reality, you can have the real life experience of building your business and earning significant residual income each time you play for two to four players purchase eight and save money again drawing on my instructional design experience i've been involved in creating simulated activities that had gamification interwoven into it and yes it really is a great way to teach people however i'm sticking to my guns on this one it doesn't matter how often you play this or what you do this is not going to help you actually achieve anything. MLM is designed so that most people lose. And without further ado, let's watch this um, video, shall we? Remember, it was made in 2006, so it's not terribly flashy or well done by the standards of today. And considering I was working on some bleeding edge instructional design games during this time, the video back then, in my opinion, is not all that great either. It trains you. Before you can do, you have to do before you can have. Thank you. 
It's very, it sort of trains you for what you what you do in your business. It does do that. It helps you figure out how to do things. It trains you for what you do in your business? Really? Don't we still hear that? And does it really matter? The lady with send out cards left send out cards in 2011. She then was with this company called Zemo 365 from 2012 to 2016, which is another MLM. And it is a supplement company that believes in restoring the American dream through health conscious product and financial freedom. She now labels herself as a wellness advocate and educator with the Essential Mentor. I did not find a website for Essential Mentor, but I suspect it's one of those coachy things. The dude is from Utah, and there is a link on his Facebook page, and it still goes to longevity. Imagine being in a public place playing this game. I mean, really, I'm just embarrassed for them. I just shudder. Do you think the other people that were filmed for this are still involved in MLM? I sure hope not. Let me know what your thoughts are about this game. I consider the residual income game to be MLM propaganda. It is not the first time a game has been used to further an agenda per se. For instance, in World War II, there were Nazi board games. Potential Hitler youth played these games. One such game produced in 1939 allowed German children to imagine themselves strangling the British coastline with aircraft and U-boats. In another game, swastikas studded the path to victory on a Pachisi game. You may think the residual income game is only a game and wonder what is the big deal. The big deal is how people use something that people enjoy, games, to perpetuate a sinister agenda. In the instance of MLM, it is to get people to believe in the idea that through the opportunity and by learning, the secret knowledge the MLM holds, they will be able to transform their dull lives. This methodology of using a game is a sneaky way to infiltrate one's mind, to shut down critical thinking and encourage people to blindly believe they only need to have the right mindset, follow the step-by-step -step plan perfectly and shun anyone that questions the so-called opportunity. Overall, I find this game to be dangerous and at the heart a way to mislead people. In the world of multi-level marketing, 
the opportunity offered to you coupled with you believing in the opportunity and never giving up is the way to achieve total freedom. These words are translated to mean work sets one free. However, those who entered this gate were not set free. They were systematically slaughtered. MLM eradicates your personhood and destroys you from the inside out. MLM parades around a glitzy lifestyle and those who participate do not realize they have become willing slaves to a system that will extinguish their true self for the sole purpose of making the company owners extremely wealthy. What are your thoughts and opinions about the residual income board game? Let me know in the comments and remember you're beautiful and I love you.